Drew, this is bigger than Dahlia DiPolito. Mm -hmm. This case is about safeguarding all of our constitutional rights. Whether you like her or not, you know, whether she's attractive, fat, skinny, she's entitled to constitutional protection. And what I'm trying to bring attention to in this case is this police department entrapped her. They, they put seed, you know, pieces of cheese in front of her to draw her in to do these videos. To be a murder. They vi listen, they violated just about every no. policy and procedure within that police department to get her to do those videotapes. So this but is, who got, go, go ahead, sorry. go ahead. But who Lord, got her to, to, to poison his, his tea from Starbucks before yeah, all of this happened? Yeah, well, that, that's, that's fiction, too. There's no evidence of that, and there's been no criminal investigation of that. That's the problem with this case. Everybody looked at this case, looked at those videos, and they went right to the conclusion. What I'm trying to do now is, is tell people about chapters 1 through 10. Here's the thing. I watch a lot of reality TV, probably more I'm than I should I'm sorry for that. Yeah, way more than, <laughs> probably, more than you should. I'm not admit, more, more than you should. Than I should. But I've never, ever, ever seen a reality TV show that uh, follows someone who's planning to murder but, someone. Darren. But like instead, that usually... If we could, yeah. if we could Darren, shift you're the focus you're going nuts, from how she's doing in the court of public opinion to how the police went along with the integrity of what they're supposed to be doing in a court of law. And I'm just thinking, when we're talking about integrity, I'm thinking back to a case we discussed recently with Stephen Avery, right? The making of a murderer. Well, I am we thinking have, about I have been thinking about that. Where, where this the reminds headline, me of that. Well, in a sense, the headline about Brendan Dassey, the nephew who's confessing, and then when you you see the confession, it's not really there. No, that's right. And, You're right. And my wondering about this is as we look at the police behavior, at, at the behavior of government officials, we require a certain level of integrity in what they do, objective, I, reasonable. I, and, and Brian, I think that's the case you're making, but uh, Brian, I'm going to give you an assignment if you haven't done this already. Go home and watch Making a Murderer <laughs> because you'll find lots of good ideas there for your defense. <laughs>